I think that you you look at that race and that win, and it's it's just like it's so classic team as like you're blowing up, you got a shock that's going dead, like you're you're just driving the piss out of that thing. And and then you got in victory lane and, and like you seem like you were worn out. Like what you know, were you worn out? Like I know you got a lot of other stuff, you know, on your plate. You were doing double duty, you'd, you'd run the night before, like you know, what was going through your head when you were in victory lane and, and you kind of could soak it in? You know, just, uh, I, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, it was one of them races. The thing was, the car was so awesome. We actually get together with laser and it ended up, the left rear radius rod fell off of it on the birdcage and it, it bent the left rear shock. And so the left rear shock was just a pogo stick, but it, it would get down to a certain spot and then just stay there. You know, well, the car got to where it was like, carrying the right front like williams grove down the straightaways and i'm out there running it wide open flat footed it like ripping the curb just right on entry all the way through like it was it was awesome like in the car mid midgets are pretty when you when they get up when you're when they're right they are easy to drive you know because you're not dealing with 900 horsepower you know so i'm out there like just man it, it was awesome and then it, i knew it was tying up you know i look at the gauge and it was just pegged and the gauge only reads 250 on that and it was 250 for like the last 15 laps, you know? So, um, you know, hats off to Tanner for giving me some room the last lap. Cause he didn't, you know, but I think we would have been crashing down the front stretch had he not, cause he just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and you know, I had caught traffic and just really wasn't getting my traffic good enough, you know? So I think that's why he caught me there at the end, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough deal. You know, when you win races, you know, you, you, you don't always know what to say. I suck at Hobstot. I don't like Hobstot. You know, we, we I went there so many times and just struggled, gotten crashes, whatever. So I, I don't know. You know, and I have had a lot on my plate, you know, and I've been running double duty the last five weeks in a row. Um, so, you know, life takes a toll on you. It's the end of the year. Um, but uh, feeling good about, you know, finishing strong with our, uh, our mess race in the 7X. So I've always wondered, and, and I've never been a race car driver, obviously, look at me. Um, but if I see the gauge is pegged in my car, like, I'm kind of getting nervous. Like, am I going to break this thing? Like, does that ever go through a racer's mind? Like, do you ever stop, or are you just all out 100% no matter what? So uh, a couple weeks ago at Kokomo, that we were running the USAC sprint car, and I'm running fifth at, at uh, Kokomo with the 47, and I'm on the outside of Cummins, and I'm like, that thing, it makes enough power. I don't even have to get to the floor. You know, all of a sudden, I'm like, leg in this thing you know <laughs> and i looked down at the temp that thing is pegged and you know, it was the third race from brand new not like some motor we got from some guy who had it for a couple of years brand new so i pulled it in right away you know but on this deal it's a little different um it was the last night on on the motor before it needed to get freshened um so it had this that was it you know we pushed out we knew you know that place typically the stuff gets hot and when you're leading the race and you ain't won a midget race with USAC ever, you just let her rip, you know? Um, so hats off to my guys for, for letting me, you know, run the dog shit out of their stuff. And, uh, you know, they weren't mad about it. It, it did have water in the oil when we drained the oil. So, um, it'll be headed back to speedway getting freshened, uh, real soon. 